Desmond Tutu, the Archbishop of Hope and Reconciliation. Desmond Tutu, a South African Anglican Archbishop, is renowned for his unwavering commitment to peace, justice, and reconciliation. Inspired by his Christian faith and the belief in the inherent dignity of every individual, Tutu played a pivotal role in the fight against apartheid in South Africa. His tireless efforts earned him the prestigious Nobel Peace Prize in 1984, recognizing his significant contributions to promoting peace, justice, and compassion. Tutu's activism and leadership were guided by his core values of forgiveness, compassion, and equality. He firmly believed that non-violent protest and economic pressure could bring about transformative change in society. As the chairman of South Africa's Truth and Reconciliation Commission TRC, he fostered healing and understanding by giving a voice to victims of human rights abuses and providing an opportunity for perpetrators to seek amnesty through truth-telling. Desmond Tutu's visionary leadership and unwavering commitment to justice and reconciliation have had a profound impact on society. His legacy is one of hope, perseverance, and the belief in the power of love to overcome hatred and injustice. Through organizations like the Tutu Foundation, his work continues to inspire individuals and communities to work towards a more inclusive and compassionate world. Key takeaways, Desmond Tutu's work was inspired by his Christian faith and the belief in the inherent dignity of every individual. He played a crucial role in the fight against apartheid in South Africa and was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1984. Tutu's leadership of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission fostered healing and understanding in South Africa. His core values included forgiveness, compassion, and equality. Desmond Tutu's legacy is one of hope, perseverance, and the belief in the power of love to overcome injustice. Early life and education Desmond Tutu, a revered figure in the fight against apartheid in South Africa, was born on October 7, 1931, in Clarkstorp. Growing up in a racially divided society, he witnessed firsthand the injustices and discrimination experienced under apartheid. Tutu's father, a teacher, instilled in him a love for learning and a deep sense of social justice. During his childhood, Tutu attended mission schools, where he was exposed to the atrocities of a segregated society. These experiences ignited a passion within him to challenge injustice and fight for equality. His upbringing and exposure to the struggles of his community laid the foundation for his future activism. Driven by his desire to make a difference, Tutu pursued higher education at St. Peter's Theological College in Johannesburg. He was ordained as an Anglican priest in 1961, solidifying his commitment to serving others and advocating for change. Tutu's pursuit of knowledge and his dedication to his faith were essential in shaping his role as a prominent leader in the fight against apartheid. Opposition to apartheid Desmond Tutu played a crucial role in the fight against apartheid in South Africa. As a vocal critic of the discriminatory policies and racial segregation enforced by the apartheid government, Tutu used his platform as a religious leader to advocate for nonviolent resistance and the application of economic pressure on South Africa. His tireless efforts to bring about change and promote human rights were recognized when he was awarded the Nobel Prize for Peace in 1984. This prestigious honor served as a testament to Tutu's unwavering commitment to justice and equality. Tutu's activism and leadership were instrumental in raising global awareness of the injustices of apartheid and putting pressure pressure on the South African government to dismantle the system. By speaking out against apartheid and promoting international sanctions, Tutu played a significant role in mobilizing the international community to take a stand against this oppressive regime. His passion for justice and his determination to fight against inequality and oppression have left an indelible mark on society. Desmond Tutu's opposition to apartheid serves as an inspiration to all who believe in the power of collective action and the fight for human rights. Key achievements impact on society received the Nobel Prize for Peace in 1984 highlighted the injustices of apartheid on a global scale advocated for nonviolent resistance and economic pressure on South Africa mobilized the international community to support the anti-apartheid movement played a crucial role in race awareness and dismantling the apartheid system inspired individuals to stand up against oppression and fight for justice truth and reconciliation commission in 1995. Desmond Tutu was appointed as the chairman of South Africa's Truth and Reconciliation Commission TRC. The TRC was established to investigate the human rights abuses committed during the apartheid era and promote reconciliation and healing among the victims and perpetrators. Tutu led the commission with compassion and impartiality, giving a voice to victims and providing an opportunity for perpetrators to seek amnesty in exchange for truth-telling. His leadership and guidance were instrumental in enabling South Africans to confront their painful past and work towards a more just and inclusive the future. Core values and principles Desmond Tutu's work and activism were guided by his core values and principles. He believed in the inherent worth and dignity of every individual, regardless of race, gender, or social status. Tutu emphasized the importance of forgiveness, reconciliation, and compassion in healing societies torn apart by conflict and injustice. His steadfast commitment to these values allowed him to overcome challenges and make a lasting impact on society. 
Tutu understood that forgiveness is not about condoning or forgetting the wrongs committed, but rather about freeing oneself from the burden of anger and resentment. He believed in the power of forgiveness to transform individuals and societies, allowing them to move forward and build a better future. Reconciliation was another key principle that guided Tutu's work. He recognized the importance of acknowledging and addressing past injustices in order to heal and create a more equitable society. Through his leadership in the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, Tutu provided a platform for both victims and perpetrators to share their stories, seek justice, and work towards rebuilding trust and understanding. Without forgiveness, there is no future. Compassion was at the heart of Tutu's approach. He believed in reaching out to those who had been marginalized, oppressed, or harmed. Tutu advocated for empathy, kindness, and understanding as essential qualities in fostering a more inclusive and humane society. Desmond Tutu's legacy is carried on through the Tutu Foundation, which continues to promote these core values and principles. The Foundation supports initiatives that seek to address social and economic inequalities, promote peace and justice, and empower communities to create lasting change. Legacy of Hope Desmond Tutu's legacy is one of hope and inspiration. He showed the world that even in the face of oppression and injustice, it is possible to stand up for what is right and bring about meaningful change. Tutu's tireless advocacy for human rights and reconciliation continues to inspire individuals and communities around the world. Desmond Tutu's impact goes beyond his influential role in combating apartheid in South Africa. Through the Tutu Foundation and other organizations, he has created a lasting impact by providing resources and support for initiatives that promote peace, justice, and equality. The Tutu Foundation, in particular, carries on his work by empowering individuals and communities through education, healthcare, and economic development. Tutu's belief in the power of forgiveness and reconciliation guided his efforts to heal societies torn apart by conflict. He believed that through understanding and dialogue, individuals could come together and work towards a more just and inclusive world. Tutu's advocacy work continues to inspire new generations of activists, reminding them of the importance of fighting for equality and human rights. Lessons from Desmond Tutu Desmond Tutu's life and work offer valuable lessons for all of us. His commitment to forgiveness, compassion, and reconciliation teaches us the power of empathy and understanding and building a more just and peaceful world. Tutu's unwavering belief in the inherent dignity and worth of every individual reminds us of the importance of treating others with respect and dignity. His courage and perseverance in the face of adversity inspire us to stand up against injustice and fight for equality and human rights. Tutu's teachings continue to guide and inspire individuals and communities to work towards a more inclusive and compassionate society. Honors and awards Desmond Tutu's unwavering dedication to peace, justice, and reconciliation has been recognized and celebrated through numerous prestigious honors and awards. His remarkable contributions to society have left an indelible mark on the world, solidifying his legacy as an influential figure in history. One of the most notable accolades bestowed upon Desmond Tutu is the Nobel Prize for Peace, awarded to him in 1984. This prestigious recognition serves as a testament to his tireless efforts in promoting peace and advocating for human rights, especially during the apartheid era in South Africa. In addition to the Nobel Prize, Tutu has received other significant awards, further highlighting his remarkable achievements. In 2009, he was honored with the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the highest civilian award in the United States. This recognition demonstrates the global impact of Tutu's work and his unwavering commitment to social justice. Father, grandfather, minister, missionary, deacon, elder, author, welcome to our family, view all posts.